This is my definitive work on the, on, on the theory and practice of alchemy. This is a course in miracles. There are literally no miracles. It's, it's just there are things that, that challenge a, a, a current scientific worldview. In terms of dimensions, it deals with eternity. It shows you how to connect consciousness to mass. In more earlier terms, that would be spirit to body. You've got things like transubstantiation and stuff. Those are terms that come from alchemy. They don't come from Christianity, because Christianity never had that stuff to begin with. It wasn't until thousands of years later when this had gone from Egypt to Greece, then finally to Rome, and then, then coming up to the Renaissance. It kept the same processes going. Well, start with Quinta Essentia. You have the four traditional elements, fire, air, earth, and water. Heat and air go up, and then the triangle coming down is earth and water, and then combined, they produce that. That's a hexagram. There's a cycle to it, like the rise of the soul and the descent of the spirit. In other words, they're going around, I put in all the astrological signs because they tend to define what happens. Those are the, uh, the planets that were known when, when alchemy started. So the moon, you know, say the, the crescent moon, and then you have the quadrant. And, uh, and so here you have earth, air, fire, and water above the crescent and then it moves around where the moon is above that and, and so finally up there it's completely absorbed over there you see the sun as it's coming down and you have a quadrant and then the sun is in t on top of the, the earth air fire and water and then finally with mars you have the earthly quadrant above the sun. There were 14 steps towards initiating the fire in the Athenor. And they're listed there, you know, like solution, evaporation, separation, calcination, uh, purification, fermentation, and multiplication. And then you got uh, distillation, rectification, commixia of inhibition, fixation, and, and projection. All those are steps in how you get the fire going in the ethanol. That's like the internal fire, that's the external fire. You're cooking the philosopher's stone, uh, an entity that can transmute anything into anything else. And, uh, and so it's in a hermetic seal. It's sealed by, by revelation, Hermes. You're trying to produce something which is similar to the, the Hindu concept of the topa, meaning that, you know, like you have a goal to see something done. You want to manifest a person uh, or a place or a thing, and you get it happening. We're getting closer and closer to in, with, with technology, which obviously outstrips science. In other words, invention occurs first, science later to, to explain it, which they never totally do. So that's why invention keeps going. And so the, the history of invention is to manifest what, what, what alchemy always presented as, as, as a goal. And, and so like when you reach the state of consummation, You've got the, the Kabbalah up there, and uh, where all, all, all the symbols unite into Mercury. And then above the word Mercury is Hyproxis, 
that people think that those things are, are symbols, but they're not. They're actual entities. And so if you, if you do it right, the thing will manifest. When somebody said, what's that? The, the what's thatness is the manifestation of, of what they are. See, in other words, I'm not interested in what's in my mind. I'm interested in getting it out so that it becomes what alchemy really is. In other words, it's an external uh, meta-objective uh, entity.